So we're going to do a simple analysis here. I'm a medical doctor, so I'm interested in how healthy the various characters in the Star Wars movies are. One of the ways as doctors we look at health is we look at something called the body mass index. And to calculate the body mass index, we take the mass in kilograms and we divide it by the height in meters squared and we get a body mass index. Right, and we could ask the question, is the body mass index different in males or females? Males and females, right? So we've got gender here, so we want to look at we want to look at height, mass, gender, and we might want to say we just want to stick to humans because we don't think droids uh, will have a significant body mass index or anything meaningful there. Okay, so let's have a look at how we would do that. Okay, we're going to tackle this data set the tidyverse way, and we're going to use these things called pipe operators. And I've talked about them in a previous video, but it, and they're very easy to use. It's very intuitive, and it allows us to string together the tidyverse vocabulary. Okay, we start off by saying we're working with the, the Star Wars data set. And then we put in our pipe operator. And the pipe operator, if you don't know what it means, th think of it like this. It means, and then. So we take what's on the left-hand side of the pipe and we pipe it into the right-hand side. We're gonna do it on separate lines. I'm gonna go to a new line after each pipe operator. But R is gonna think of it as one long continuous line of code and it's gonna run it all together at once. Now the Star Wars data set has got lots and lots of variables. We only want to work with a handful of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify our lives and make things a little bit easier by selecting certain variables. And it is literally that easy. We type in the word select, open brackets, and we type in the variables that we're interested in. Gender, mass, height, species. Push command enter. Okay, so we can see R has produced now a much smaller and ma more manageable data frame. It's only got the four variables that we're interested in. We have include species because we're going to want to filter out anything that's not a human, right? So droids aren't of interest in this particular analysis. So let's do that, right? We're back at our source. Again, we put in our pipe operator, which is shift command M. Go to the next line and let's type in filter. We want our species to equal to equal to and human. And we use the double equal to's because we're asking a question. Command enter. And we've got gender, mass, height. We still have an NA here, and I'm not sure why that's there, but we don't want it. So we're gonna say NA omit and get rid of it. Now in this video, I'm not gonna get into the science behind when you do and don't use NA omit, when you do and don't remove rows that have missing values. I'm really just trying to teach you how to use these pipe operators and how to use these functions. So let's not worry about that too much. Let's stick in a pipe operator for argument's sake and say NA omit and just open brackets, close brackets, push enter, control enter, and you'll see that that missing value row is gone completely. There you go, gone.